So I think the first barrier would be a perception of what your fir what first year writing does. And then, although the WPAs themselves highly valued multimodality, as well as the students, some of their faculty, especially um, returning faculty or more seasoned instructors, also weren't sure about the value of multimodality itself. And once again, those barriers of labor and access and um, support structures across campus were other areas that really hindered first year writing from requiring a multimodal component. The most difficult part of creating this was really trying to make it accessible to all students and all instructors. Um, recognizing that, you know, some of the common barriers that WPAs talk about in implementing multimodality across their programs still applied to us, right? We have a lot of instructors coming in with varying teaching backgrounds. Some are brand new to teaching, some have been teaching a long time. Some are very comfortable with technology and different software platforms. Uh, some are not. Uh, some are feeling a little nervous about their comfort level with these platforms and technologies, especially when they recognize that their students might be more comfortable with some of these programs than they are. And so it can be a really vulnerable thing. And so what I wanted to do was to try to take some of those barriers and remove them to the extent that I could, or at least diminish them, so that it was really possible for our instructors to take this assignment, really, and just take this curriculum and embody it in a way that was less, um, less time consuming, that didn't really require any training, uh, and that let them still, you know, express their own personality and their own ped pedagogical styles in the midst of that. Now, one of the ways that I was able to do that really effectively was to partner with the museum to have our museum curator uh, create, she worked with us to create a series of instructional videos that our instructors then had ready to give to their students about how to do the different types of object analysis that we in English departments aren't always as familiar or as comfortable with doing like how to analyze a 3D object, right? Or even a two-dimensional object, things that are not text-based, but physical objects. And so bringing her expertise and her perspective to bear was really helpful. And also um, then getting her curatorial perspective to help inform the kinds of writing that students could embody and inhabit in this assignment and how it differed perhaps from a more standard academic research essay uh, and I, I think it was pretty fun at the end of the day.